Hello, Randall Monk and Rana Vazane here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, everybody. How is it in your world? You must tame and gain control of your emotional body via your higher self, guides, and angelic helpers in order to become receptive to the refined frequencies of cosmic truth. You must clear the mind of distorted, negative, defeating thoughts. Only a clear vessel can receive and transmute, transmit the, the wisdom teachings of the cosmic libraries of God consciousness. You hear a lot about speaking about the ages and the ages past and so on. And so in the age of Pisces, what was that? It was our emotions. It was an emotional time. We were beginning to tap into our emotions and know that doesn't feel right. And oh, nature is wonderful, and this makes me this makes me feel at peace. And and we begin to notice. And it wasn't so mental. It was the time of integrating the sensations of spirit. How did it make us feel? What it, what was the results? We began to see the cause and effect of our thoughts. And we are made up a great deal, especially in the past, of our emotional feeling nature. And so that's been going on now for 2,000 years. And we, like Michael says, and we say, and we understand, it's time to get out of the emotions of spirit and into the science of spirit. There are universal laws. They talk about, oh, God's, God's will, God did it so. No, he didn't. He, she didn't. They are just love. They're sending love. They see the perfection. They don't see the negativity. We are the children of God. We are white fire, memory seed, Adam, essence of God. And we were sent forth to be co-creators. And so there were universal laws created. And how are we going to adhere to universal laws if we don't know what they are? And so science has been the, the, the knowledge and what, the, what, what they told us was real. And we couldn't prove it, but we let them prove it for us. And so now, as we are beginning to awaken, one way or the other, it either st stirs the light, either stirs up a divine discontent of saying, I'm more than this, there's more than this. This doesn't feel good to me, this isn't right for me. Or, hey, this is comfortable, well, that's how it is, and they're up there pulling the strings, and I can't do anything about it, and so I'll just plot along, and I'll still I'll be safe. But it can't be that way, because that light, that energy, that those frequencies, it's, it's like being electrified within you, and so many of the body changes, is what, that's what's happening. Everything's beginning to stir it up, do, a, a distribution, a re rearrangement, a realignment, an enhancement, a release. It's so many different things going on all at once. And so memory seed atoms, first of all, creation is adamantine particles filled with a thought, filled with thought forms, with memory seed atoms of intention. They are fertile, they've been fertilized, they've been incubated. And we talk about we talk about using force and so on. We'll talk about that more in another time. But we are working on, instead of using physical force, of using our will power. Our divine power that we've been given in those God rays of our Father, Mother God. And so, yes, there's a lot of information out there, but we try to often talk about, you read a book, you see a movie, you hear someone say something, it's information, it's their point of view, it's either what they've read, what they think, what they saw, and it's up to you to run that through your computer your emotional nature and, and your mental, what you, what you mentally already believe. And one of the greatest tests and one of the greatest trials of these days is to be willing to change your mind. You have to change your mind with a lot of things if you're going to leave all that negativity behind. And that's not easy for a lot of people. Well, this is what I said, and this is what I know, and this is what I've told, and that's what I'm going to believe. Well, good for you. I'll see you. We'll see you later. 
So, the mental focus, the method of focusing on the mental mind is to begin to change that information to knowledge, begin to fit it together and be willing to see a broader picture. That's what a self-master is, is to begin to expand your viewpoint. Begin to be willing to contemplate something different, even if it sounds, you know, the, the ETs and all those things out there. Be willing, be open to new ideas and to the fact that there is much more out there than what we can see or prove. Can you prove the energy that we're getting? Can you see? Can you see the air out there? The electricity, all so many things. And so there's, as everything refines and gets more higher frequencies and what you might see more in the etheric realm, you're not going to see less and less. You are going to, you're going to integrate it, you're going to contemplate it, and then you're going to see if it fits into your reality and if it's going to be your truth. And so that's why everyone is so confused now. The Pisces divine blueprint has now totally shut down. It's integrated in the earth. It's a part of us. It's a memory seed atom. It's a hologram that's stored within our DNA and throughout our system. It's with us. And hopefully we've taken the good parts or we're releasing the negativity, but it's part of who we are. It's part of our, our spiritual, physical, etheric, mental, emotional nature. And so it's time to build on that. It's time to take that and to begin to integrate the next gift that our Father, Brother, God, and creation has for it. Those pearls of the gems of wisdom, those pearls of is information, all, all of that that's out there. Look, look at the plethora of information that's coming forth now. Why? because it's bringing all the different multiple facets, different frequencies and vibrations of information. And it's up to you to decide which of those gems, which of those jewels, what's the fruit of knowledge are you going to take and put together and begin to create your own magic formula of who you are, what you are, where you've been and where you're going. That's where we are now. That's the gift we're in the midst of. Yes, it's turmoil. Everything that changes has, it, it has to be, it has to be chaotic. It has to transform, it has to evolve. Let go of the old, embrace the new. So that's our challenge. So that's why Michael tells us so often, return to neutral, return to your sacred space. Neutral is the God moment the moment of creation, the moment of where you transform some of your past, that what we call designer baggage that you're dragging along, and you begin to enhance and create, energize and power and rev up the power in your wheel of creation, in that infinity breath of the future. You are the creator. It isn't God doing it, the angels can't. Michael says we will help you to the extent of the universal law as far as will protect, guide, and direct you, but you must do the work. So get at it, kids. Work at it. We work at it every day. It is our life, and we can say it's worth it. And we have a lot of miracles to prove it. So we're here for you. We're here with you, and we know you can do it. Thank you, Rana. Yeah, well, this quote talked about uh, having control of the emotional body. And that's one of the most challenging things for us as humans to deal with. So, you know, the old saying, you, you know, take a breath before you respond to someone that pushes your buttons or, you know, flips that switch or, the, you know, uh, the, what do they call it, a trigger? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so take time to have control of the emotions rather than them taking control of us. That's... That's, the, that's one of the most important things for us at this time on the planet. So that we're maintaining that high vibration because that's what it's all about, maintaining that high vibration. And we can't do that 
if we allow our emotions to take over. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. We love you and we're with you. We are attached from the heartstrings. And so, come on. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time. Bye for now.